we are. All right, so in the last lesson, I told you that the next lesson, which is this one, is going to be all about checking your deck. So um, when you have events or parties or just are reading with friends, the next time you prepare your deck, it's good to check it. You need to go through it and make sure that all of the cards are there. I do not use jokers. And uh, I do work with a couple of jokers. So I have um, one magician in particular that I will not name uh, that um, every time he's handled my cards, my queen of hearts disappears. So that's a little joke between us. And so I always remind you to please check your deck. I have my piles here in the different suits. Uh, a particular brand name is showing. I will let you know that I did approach them about writing a book on this subject and they were not interested in giving me the rights to use their specific brand of cards in my book. And again, I do not charge money for this and so um, I'm not profiting off of this in any way, though I do receive gifts. So we've talked about my gifts that I receive that are a lot of fun just uh, donations as we say then I do use other brands of cards this particular style has very large shapes on it they're made for people that have a hard time seeing you can get them at any uh, store there's just about every store that has playing cards at all will have uh, just a regular deck it's not for a specific game it's just regular playing cards right now we have them lined up with aces up these are all number ones so aces count as one and this is in the element of earth, air, fire, and water. Earth, air, fire, water. That's just the way people like to say it. It doesn't matter what order it's in, but that's how I lined them up. Two black, two red suits. And so we always have the balance of black and red with their different values. Now you can do some spiritual work, a little bit of new age research, uh, Native American research, whatever you wanna do to find out more about the elements of earth, air, fire, and water. I come from a very pagan approach, and I don't mean Wiccan. I don't use the term Wiccan. I do use the term pagan, and that would be more like on the very old time uh, medieval pagan ways of natural countries before they were taken over by other religions. So, A1 is ground, not zero. It's at least one step up from nothing. Sometimes I talk about the phoenix rising from the ashes. That would be in the element of earth. Sometimes you feel like you're the only one. Some people call this the death card. I do not ever talk about death in that form. This is the shedding of the skin. So the snake comes out shiny new. This is a new beginning, a new phase of the moon. And so we know that there's great deal of potential and really um, you're just rising up from this, whatever it is. If it's in love or if it's in prosperity, prosperity could be health, your health could be getting better, or it could involve money because we know that the element of fire has a nice crackle to it. It's got some shine to it, but your aura energy. And when I use my hands like this and I talk about shields of protection, it's that way as well. And we know that hearts is liquid, um, blood, that kind of thing, but also love and emotion. Um, some people call these feminine cards and masculine cards. It's just whatever you believe in. I'm not too hung up on the masculine and feminine because we know that women can be very good at business and men can be very good nurturers. So we have those aspects within all of us. All right, let's move on. Enough advertising for those guys. Let's go to twos. Earth air, fire, water. So twos really do mean two. Sometimes you'll hear me talk about two eyes, two hands, two feet, two kidneys, two lungs. Um, so things come in twos, people come in twos, pairs of things. And so just know that when we talk about earth and clubs, that sometimes I'll call it wands and wand is um, an earth related element in that the magic is wrought where land and water come together. Sometimes it's considered like the shepherd's crook. Again, something in the earth that's a staff or a wand. This is the element of air. It's a sword in Tarot. And so up in the air, we have swords. Swords that stab into the ground are making a completely different statement where um, swords that are up in the air um, usually can mean, I go like this with my fingers a lot, um, just means discussion, conversation, and sometimes swords can be a little sharp. So in diamonds, we know that this is low. 
and um, that's okay. You know, sometimes having a little less protection and being more open to something, less guarded and more open to love or something like that, sometimes a, a two or a lower number can be a very good thing that you're more open and receptive instead of blocking out stuff. Um, a two of hearts, um, also in tarot um, and other styles. There's all different styles. So again, I'm not the authority on anything. This is just the way that my family taught me how to do this is that this is a love card that is playful and they sometimes talk about the tea party the little teacups clinking together the kids playing on a teeter-totter so um, it's a very childlike um, simplistic love it is not all that so let's move on to threes all right everybody make a triangle with your fingers here we go three all right so three is a base pyramid shape um, it's usually pointing up. It's pretty rare to point down, though the feminine divine does appreciate that as well. And so um, the energy is moving up. We know that we're away from ones and twos. We're not to a five yet. This is a soft progression card. There's a lot more detail in these, especially when they're in the spread and how they relate to other cards. So I won't go into it too much. It can tell I'm going kind of fast again today. But I just want to give you a basic rundown of how I view these. I look at where black and red are placed on the tree of life spread that I use. And I look at how many hearts, how many spades, if there's every element there or if there's an element missing. We had a spread that we did last time where there was no diamonds. And I talked about that a fair amount of why was there just these cards and this one wasn't there at all in any suit. There was no diamonds at all. So sometimes we get really black readings and that's fine. It's not bad. It's good to explore the dark side sometimes. Um, threes have more meaning uh, depending on how you perceive them. All right, fours. Now we're into building blocks. Now we're into the steps in the pyramid. So this was the potential of the growth rising up to higher energies. Now we're really like, what steps are we taking this is the foundation of a home, the foundation of a life, the foundation of a business, the foundation of your health. So a four is um, what we call basal. And so anything lower than a four might um, show some concern or we'd like to see that get stronger. Once we see a four, it's like, ah, oh, okay, we're starting to get somewhere in earthly elements, which I use this symbol when I say clubs, I talk about business, which is that digging in the dirt, shovel, creation of business. This would be talking, communicating more. This is a little more money, a step at a time, or a little more protection as we raise and guard our emotions or our physical health. Our immune system is starting to get better and love is developing or just a balancer of just like, wow, this was so heavy and dark. Let's lighten this up a little bit and get a little more um, joyful and playful with what we're doing. All right, can't be too serious all the time. Hi, Chase, what are you doing, man? That's my other dog. So fives, that's when I see the lucky hand come up. You know, I do that and I go like this with it, with my hand, I go boom. And so this is that wagon wheel rolling forward into higher energy, earth, air, fire, water, work related networking communication but also the physical side of it planting the seeds to get the plant to grow this is more about um up in the air discussion and so sometimes we call it etherical uh, just meaning that sometimes it's sort of in pretending like what if kind of life um, which is fine uh, nothing wrong with moving forward in that and then um, always good to have a 